As people contract COVID, some are still hesitant about getting the shot. News Six's Amanda Castro took people's concerns about the vaccine to a local health expert. Cars packed Barnett Park again, the long line of people waiting hours for COVID-19 testing. It's a similar sight we saw on Tuesday when we spoke to people who were getting tested after being exposed. Some telling us they're still hesitant to get the vaccine, like this man who got COVID in March. So they told me to wait a little bit till my body was healed up to to get it since I had a pretty bad case of it earlier. We brought their concerns to Seminole County Medical Director Dr. Todd Husty. He says even if you had COVID, you should still get the vaccine. We're also told some wanted to wait and see how others react to the vaccine before getting the shot. We've given over 100 million of them. So what are we waiting for now? I mean, do we think something weird is going to pop up and could it? Yeah. But it's all about the odds. The odds are almost zero that something really nasty is going to pop up on these vaccines after all of these doses. And some are concerned about breakthrough cases. Until they can prove that if, you know, once you have the vaccine that you're for surely not going to ever get it again. I said, you know, I got a bunch of cases where, where we work now that is saying otherwise. Husty says science shows the immunity gained from the disease or vaccine won't last forever and a booster will likely be needed. But ultimately, the vaccine will protect you from getting seriously ill or dying. It's all about risk versus benefit. And the risk of the vaccine, I think, is very well proven. The science has proven it is very low risk. The benefit is you don't get COVID. Husty also shared some tips on how you can get results and help encourage your friends and family to get vaccinated, including talking to them about their concerns, encouraging them to speak to their doctor, and turning to reliable sources to learn more about the vaccine. Reporting in Orange County, Amanda Castro, Getting Results, News 6.